everybody, it's Yami and welcome to another Catch Alive mini movie. Today's story is called One Bunny in a Whole World of Wolves. Let's get into the gacha. Yay, finally, my favorite cartoon has begun. Oh, somebody's at the door. Don't worry, sweetie, I got this. Who's at the door, I wonder? Oh, an injured bunny. Oh my gosh, honey, what happened to your face? Dad? Dad, what happened to your face? Who did that to you? That doesn't matter. What matters now is, is that you both must run away for safety. What did you say? But why? Open the door now or else we'll- Honey, take our daughter and leave now. But what about you? Just take our daughter and leave. It's getting dangerous here. Oh my gosh, honestly? We are seconds into this gacha and it is already spicy. No idea what's going on, but I'm shook. Mommy, wait, daddy has to come too. Open the door, you idiot. Oh no, I'm ready now, mom. All right then, let's get out of here. Tell us where your family is now, or we'll have to check by ourselves. Oh no, they're coming for us. We must leave now. Okay, mommy. Jumping out of the window. Oh my goodness, that is dangerous. Let's search here in this room. Oh, I hope the mum gets out. She did. Just in the nick of time. Is that a window over there? They must have already run away. Don't worry, you'll not find them, even if you try to. What's wrong, lady police? Did you find them yet? You little. Okay, good. The mum and daughter managed to make it out and they didn't get captured. Are you okay, mom? You look scared. Don't worry, honey. I'm okay. Now, let's go. Oh, I feel so bad for the dad. Please don't tell me that it was daddy. I think it was. Mommy, it's not daddy, right? Oh no, that's so sad. One hour later, where have they ended up? Um, is everything okay, mommy? Yes, sweetheart, everything's okay. By the way, we've arrived at your aunt's house now. I wish daddy was with us too. Oh, she is hurting my heart. That poor girl. Let's go and knock on their door now. Okay, hopefully the auntie's okay. Oh, come on. You know I wouldn't tell anybody about you being a rabbit, honey. Of course you wouldn't, because I'm your wife after all. Dad, can you stop teasing mum, please? Well, I'm just joking with her, nothing more. Well, it seems like our son cares more about me than you do. Okay, enough comparing now, because you know I care about you more than anybody else. Oh, somebody's at the door. Weird, who could it be at this time? Don't worry, I'll go and see who it is. I have a bad feeling about this. What did you say? Mom? Honey, what happened? Why were you screaming, sweetheart? My brother! He was killed by the wolves! Oh no, that was her brother. It makes sense because she has black bunny ears and black hair, and her brother does. What did you say? A few hours later. Listen, I'll try really hard to find a job and pay for everything. Just please let my daughter live here for now. Of course, you're my brother's wife, so you're both allowed to live here. Thank you so much for that, Amelia. Oh, how sweet. I feel so bad for them though. They've lost a family member. Auntie Amelia is so nice. I love Auntie Amelia. Um, excuse me, but who are you? And what are you doing in my room? What, it's your cousin. How does he not know his cousin? Um, my name's Pika and I'm your cousin. And what about you? What's your name? Why do I even have to tell you? Because your mum said that we'd be living with you. Oh, he is not happy about that. So, you're a bunny, huh? Yes, I am. Please don't hurt me because of that. Whoa, calm down. I would never do that. Besides, my mum's a rabbit too, so it would be weird to hurt a rabbit like her. So, are we friends now? I mean, if you say so. All right then. What's your name, cousin? My name is Liam. Wow, such a perfect name for a perfect cousin like you. Oh, I love Pika. She is so sweet. Oh, they're going to be like best friends. Sweetie, did you see where Liam and the little girl went? They're playing with each other outside. Oh, here they are. But where are they going? Who is that little girl with Liam? Who is he? That's what I want to know. Okay, Liam has taken her to the park. Let's play hide and seek together now, Pika. Isn't it too early to play now? Why not? I mean, me and my mum just ran away yesterday. What if the police are still out here looking for us? That does make sense. Not the best place to be, is it? Out in public when she's being hunted. No need to worry, cousin. I'm here with you now, you know? Thank you so much, cousin. Oh, they're actually so sweet though. Wow, I can't believe that you've got a cousin, Liam. What do you want now, Tyler? Nothing, actually. I just came here to ask this little girl's name. I'm getting a bad vibe from this kid. Why don't you have ears or a tail? Are you even a wolf? 
Oh, you know I could ask you the same thing, little girl. Me? I'm actually hiding mine. Oh, really? Do you think I'd believe that? Just leave us alone, Tyler. You know, you're really annoying. Okay then, but I won't promise that I won't be coming back to know everything. Ooh, he is nosy. Are you okay, Pika? Did he bother you or something? Don't worry, cousin. I'm totally okay. You think you can lie to me that easily, huh? Ooh, I knew he was bad news. He just gave me some bad vibes, you know? Tyler, we're really sorry we're late again. How many times do I have to tell you to call me boss, not Tyler? Anyways, boss, what did you call us here for? See this pink-haired girl over there? I want to know what her specific is. And why do you want to know? Aren't you also just like her, hiding your real form? Ooh, what's his real form? I want to know. Now I'm being nosy. Yes, but I can confirm that I'm a wolf. Go on then. Show us then. Uh, he means he already believes what you said? Yeah, yeah, he's right. What if he is secretly a rabbit too? That's what I'm thinking. Here's Pika and her cousin. Ooh, the ice cream truck is here. Hey, Pika, do you want to eat an ice cream? Of course, Pika loves ice cream so much. All right then, can you hold on here for a few minutes? Sure, you can count on me, cousin. Oh no, is this a good idea, her being alone for a few minutes? My cousin Liam is so nice. He really is like a big brother to me. Uh-oh, see, this is why I didn't want her to be on her own. Because of these guys. So your name is Pika, huh, little doll? Why did he call her that though? That's weird. You, how do you even know my name? I never told you my name. Well, I don't know. Maybe because I heard Liam calling you that? You spy? How can you spy on what other people are saying? Calm down, little doll. I didn't spy on just anyone. I just said I heard it. Don't touch me, you weird man. You little... How dare you touch our boss, you idiot. Oh no, she is in some trouble now. Really sorry, I didn't mean to. I just... Hey, it's fine. There's no need to cry. What are you doing to my cousin, you little idiots? Oh no, here comes cousin Liam, and he is not happy. Cousin? He is getting the ice creams, and he is not happy at all. He's like, let go of my cousin. Let's go from here, Pika. Oh no, the ice creams, they went flying. What a waste of ice cream, that's so sad. What's wrong? Where are they? Um, they already ran away. What a terrible day out. Where were you both for all of this time? Oh, we were only playing outside. We didn't mean to be late back. Lies. He lied. And now you're starting to learn how to lie to me, huh? Of course not. I'm just... Shut it. You're grounded. Now go to your room. Yikes. It's real awkward. Uncle is mad. Cousin... Please don't be sad, it's not your fault. So can you open the door now, please? Oh, I feel really bad for Pika. She's gone through a lot, and her cousin was just trying to help by taking her out to the park. That's enough, Pika. He won't listen to you even if you try. Oh, she's so cute. Really sorry, Auntie. I was the one who made him get into trouble. Oh, come on, honey, everything's okay now. So, it was a little bunny's fault, huh? I'm gonna talk to her mother. Oh no, I feel like the family is gonna get some more rifts happening. Pika, I'm back now, honey. Mummy, I missed you so much. Welcome back from your job, Isabel. Thank you so much, Amelia. So, when are you deciding to leave our house? Oh, wow. The uncle really just came out there, savage as ever. Honey? What are you saying? Well, if that's what you want, then I'm going to leave you to relax. Come on, Pika. Let's leave. Wait, I'm sure there must be some kind of misunderstanding. No, now Pika's mother doesn't feel welcome. See you later, auntie. You were a very nice auntie. No, Pika's breaking my heart. Come on, Pika. You must be kidding me, right? Liam? Oh no, Liam heard everything. I can't believe you, Dad. I really hate what you do. I know Liam is really sad right now, but... But look at the little goldfish next to the sofa. He's so happy. He's loving life. Also kind of random how the goldfish is just on the floor, but we move. Sweetie, please wait. Don't run away. Soon enough, you'll understand me, son. What are we gonna do now, Mum? We're going to find a new home for ourselves. And that's how my story went 15 years ago. Oh wow, are we gonna get a time skip? I feel like we are. Me and my parents were a very happy family together until my dad left us. Oh, but he didn't really leave. He kinda got killed. Dad, dad. Oh, she was having a nightmare. Finally, you woke up. 
By the way, why were you screaming? Nothing. I just had a little nightmare. It's okay, Pika. Let's forget about this and let's go eat some breakfast. Okay, Mum. Let me just go wash my face first. All right, then. I'm gonna wait for you, sweetheart. I can't believe that I'm already going to college. Wow, so she has aged up. She's a lot older now and she's starting college. And I'm also going to a college that is full of wolves. Oh dear. Hopefully they don't discover that she's a rabbit. I really hope everything can be just fine in college. Well, at least they have a home now, so that's a positive. Oh, hey there, sweetie. Are you ready to go now? Um, yeah, I think I'm ready now. What about your ears and your tail? Shouldn't you hide them? I know, but in college, we're not allowed to wear any hats or any hoodies. That's why I've got you this green liquid. You drink it before you go anywhere. Ooh, mum with a secret potion. Here, drink this liquid, my dear. What if it's dangerous? Just drink it already, Pika. Okay, this should work. Should hide her ears and her fluffy tail. Oh, it worked. That was really fast. See, now because of the liquid, your ears and your tail have now been hidden. That's right, my ears and tail are completely hidden. Thank you so much for helping me, Mum. Mum, I'm gonna be late. Sorry for the delay, sweetheart. I'm coming now. Okay, Mum has packed some extra liquid into her bag, so if she ever needs it, it's right there and she can disguise herself. All right, honey, now you're fully ready to go. When your ears and tail are about to be shown, you have to drink another bottle. All right, Mum, I understand now. Thank you so much. God bless you, my dear daughter. Oh wow, there's bears at this school? How exciting, there's so many different breeds. Hey, shouldn't my school be right here? Don't tell me that I've been walking the wrong way. Okay, she's got out the map. Wait a second, it's not even wrong. I just need to walk straight a little bit more and then I'll be able to find my college. I'm such a genius. Has she found it yet? Oh dear, she's crashed into somebody. Um, hey, I'm really sorry for bumping into you. Jeez, calm down, buddy. What's with the look on your face? Wait, I recognize this guy. It's the kid from earlier. Why does this girl look so familiar to me? Come on, are you gonna keep ignoring me? Why don't you answer my question already, huh? You didn't even ask me a question. Yeah, right, I didn't ask him a question yet. Anyway, I was gonna ask you if you were okay or not. Um, yeah, I'm okay, no need to worry. Wait, it's cousin Liam. Oh my gosh, Pika. Aw, they've been reunited. And Liam just completely pushed that other guy out of the way. Finally, I found you, Pika, I really missed you. I'm sorry, but do I know you? Come on, Pika, don't you remember me? I'm your cousin. Wait. Is that you, Liam? You silly! Where were you all of this time? I really missed you! Really sorry, I didn't know where you were. Whoa, man, do you need help? No, that little guy. He'll pay for this, no matter what. Oh, he's really entering his villain era. Tyler. They are like arch nemesis, right? Tyler and Liam, they hate each other. Wait, are you also going to study at this college? You mean I am studying in this college? Wait, so we're actually at the same college? Wait, you're also going to this college? Uh, how many times do they have to ask each other, seriously? Yes, and I'm really happy to have you beside me. By the way, Pika, where did your ears and your tail go? Did you hide them with something? Uh, yeah, how about we talk about this inside? Why is there a guy just standing outside of college crying? <laughs> is he okay? And also, I thought Pika said they weren't allowed to wear hats at college. She's literally wearing a hat. All right, well, they're going in. Behind them is Tyler. Wait, is she also going to this college? I mean, she's always gonna hang out with Liam. So what? Come on, Pika, just tell me, how did you hide your rabbit ears and your tail? Well, I just drank a liquid that helps me to hide my real form. What liquid? Why would you wanna know that, huh? Do you wanna try it or something? No, of course not. I was just wondering what the liquid was. Um, excuse me, pink haired girl, but are you the new student, Pika? Um, yeah, it's me. Why? Is there something wrong? No, it's just that the principal told me to give you a tour since you're in the new girl here at this college. And how can we trust that you won't hurt her or anything? Wow, he is so overprotective. This poor person is trying to give Pika a tour and he's like, How do I know that you won't murder her? Bro, I don't even know this girl, so why would I even hurt her? All right then, let's go. Follow me then, Pika. This is the hallway, the library, the garden, the bathroom, and the last thing is the rooftop. Wow, the rooftop really looks so satisfying to rest in. I know, right? Everybody said the same thing to me before. But I don't suggest that you come here too often. Huh? 
But why not? Most likely, the college bullies always hang out here. Oh no, there they are, the bullies. And in the group of bullies is, of course, Tyler. What are you talking about behind us, huh, Andy? Are you warning the new student about us? Wait, it's the pink-haired girl. You guys stay here. I'll go and deal with them. I'm really sorry to be talking bad about you. It's fine. Just leave now, please. Let's go now, Pika. I never told you to take the girl with you. Oh gosh. Why is he so intimidating? Hey, who do you think you are to force her to leave me? Hey, don't get any closer. Hey, Pika. Do you remember who I am? Oh, she's remembering now it's a little boy from earlier in the story. You're the same kid from the past. Yes, but which kid exactly? T Tyler? So, you actually do remember me. Why does he look so creepy? Wow, you've really changed now. You're not bullying me like you did before. See, I really changed just for you. By the way, do you forgive me now? Just because you changed, that doesn't mean that I'll forgive you so fast, you dummy. You know, I could always force you to forgive me. How can you force someone to forgive you? That doesn't make any sense. Oh no. And Liam has just entered the rooftop. This little... Oh, he's mad. Yeah, right. I'd really like to see you force me to forgive you. Anyways, I'll find other ways for you to forgive me. How dare you touch Pika, you little idiot. Why did you do that to him, Liam? You didn't do anything wrong. Because he deserves it, Pika. But he didn't even do anything to me. Oh, I actually feel really bad for him now. Poor Tyler has had to go to the nurse. We're done here now. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to call me again. Whatever. Wow, why is he savage to the nurse? I was feeling bad for him, but he's being rude. Boss, are you okay? I can hear Pika's voice. Ugh, it's a stupid guy again. I'm really sorry, Pika. I just thought that he was trying to hurt you again. Oh no, her ears, they've come out. Great, now I have to drink that disgusting tasting liquid. What's wrong with you, Pika? I must drink this green liquid to hide my rabbit form again. Oh, she's drinking it, but... But what she doesn't know is Tyler is listening through the door. Like some kind of creep. At least her tail has now been hid and her ears too. It's all hidden now, Pika. I know, but why does the liquid have to taste so bad? He is shook. He cannot believe what he's just listened in on. Wait, so Pika is actually a rabbit this whole time? The next day. All right, Tyler's in class. He's thinking real hard about how Pika has lied and she's actually a rabbit. All right, students, please listen up to me here. So there's a student here who went to the restroom and he says that he found some fluff in the restroom. He thinks that it belongs to a rabbit. Yes, after checking it out, it really does belong to a rabbit. So please everybody, if you see a rabbit, just report it to us. Oh no, a secret rabbit? But who could it be? Yikes, that's awkward. Pika, please calm down. Nobody knows about you being a rabbit. Do you think I'm still safe then? Mm-hmm. Oh, the phone is ringing, but who is it? Um, hey Pika, could you give me a few seconds? I have an important call to take. Sure, take your time, cousin. Hello, father. Oh, hello there, my dear son. How's it going? What is it? What do you want to talk about, dad? I was only asking, how's it going with your childhood friend, Pika? What? But how do you know? No more questions, son. Come home immediately. Now! Oh, his dad just put the phone down. What is going on? How did his dad know that Pika was at school? Tyler, once again, listening in. What is he up to? The dad is looking like a mafia boss right now, and I'm scared. I'm glad that you came home so early, son. Are you telling me that they know that there was a rabbit in the college? Yeah, but I swear that nobody knows who the rabbit is, mum. Ugh, just go to your room, please. I'm really not in a good mood now. Oh, poor Pika, it's not her fault. Let me just take a cold bath to calm myself down. Yeah, this must be a lot to deal with because she is about to get rumbled. Or at least she feels like it. Great, now this is gonna take a really long time to dry my hair. Oh, the phone's ringing. But who is it? Wait, is that Liam's phone number? But I can't remember giving him my phone number. Um, hello? Oh, hey there, Pika. How you doing? Not really great. I'm a little depressed after what happened in college. Really? 
How about we hang out somewhere then? To get away from the depression that you're going through. Ooh, he's wording this really strange. I feel like he's up to something. And I don't feel like it's his fault. It's probably his dad. After all, I have nothing else to do. So, okay then, I'm gonna go get ready. Yeah, something does not feel right about this. Where are you going, Pika? I'm gonna go to hang out with a friend of mine, Mum. Is he an honest and trustful friend? Yes, he is, Mum. He's even more than just honest. He's also her cousin. Finally, my mum let me hang out without asking a load of questions. Oh, hey there, Pika. Finally, you're ready. Liam, how do you know where I live? Well, I just happened to see you going this way on your way home. Oh, okay. Let's go then. That's very suspicious, isn't it? So they are really hanging out. Are you done, Pika? Yeah, thank you so much, Liam. I really had so much fun with you today. No problem. By the way, there's just one more thing that I want to show you. Would you come with me? Oh no, this is not good. All along I thought Liam was a good guy, but I feel like he's gonna do something bad. Sure, why not? Why is she blindfolded? What's going on? Are we here yet, Liam? Almost there. Just keep on walking until I say stop. Okay. Where is she? Okay, you can open your eyes now, Pika. Hey there, little rabbit. Liam, what's going on? And who are these two people? I'm really sorry for that, Pika. <gasps> he has betrayed her, and I thought Tyler was a bad guy all along. I was wrong. Come on, Liam, you must be kidding me, right? Please tell me this is a joke, Liam. I don't want to be here, please. What's Tyler doing? This little backstabber. He's just jumped down from the ceiling. Oh, Liam does feel bad about betraying his cousin. Dad, I'm so proud of you, son. You really did what I told you to do. Not like he had a choice, really. His father is so evil. Yeah, even though I'm regretting everything I've done right now. Like, please, Dad, can we just stop this thing and live peacefully with the rabbits? Whoa, what was that sound? Glass breaking. Pika? Son, wait, don't go in there. Pika? What happened? Tyler? Are you a... Is he a vampire? What? Tyler, are you a vampire? Ha ha ha. What's wrong with you? What's so funny? I mean, what else do you think I am? Wait, so you're actually a vampire? He's disappeared. Oh my goodness, where's he gone? That little brat. Son, what happened inside? Why aren't you saying anything? What happened just now? Oh yeah, I forgot I really don't like the dad. Do you remember Tyler, dad? My childhood enemy? Yes, what's wrong with him now? He turned out to be a vampire and he took Pika and then ran away. Did you say he's a vampire for all this time? And you didn't notice? And how am I supposed to notice that, Dad? What do you mean, how are you supposed to notice that? You must always realize and notice the creatures who aren't wolves. I understand now, Dad. I'll be more careful the next time. And now please, excuse me, Dad. I must go and find both Tyler and Pika now. Every creature who isn't a wolf like us must be killed. Yeah, that's a little bit crazy. Um, so Liam, is everything okay? Yeah, just a few things have just happened. That little Tyler, he always ruins everything. Tyler is a hero and he is a bad guy. Prepare another experiment room, Jack, because we found another creature who's different than us. They found a vampire under your command, boss. I'll show every creature who thinks that they can live in our world. Um, hey, are you awake? Why do these two kids look super creepy though? I mean, they look adorable, but they also look kind of evil. Oh, she's just woken up to them. They have red eyes with skulls inside of them. Good morning. Ah! Yeah, I would do the same. I'm sorry, did we scare you? Well, I'm scared because I don't know where I am or who you both are. Don't worry, you're in a safe place now. Our brother has brought you here. Yeah, our brother brought you here, so no need to be scared. Who's the person that they're talking about? What if I've been kidnapped? What should I do now? Hey, are you still scared of us? <coughs> she's run away. Yeah, she's definitely still scared. So, what did you want to tell us, son? Um, but you have to promise me both that you won't be mad, okay? <coughs> ah, a monster! Oh my gosh, someone please help me, please! Oh, that's awkward. She just ran into a room of vampires. Pika, you woke up? Tyler? Who are these people? Tyler, I can't believe you've actually brought a bunny to our house. I just wanted to help her and... 
Oh my gosh, I love bunnies so much. Oh, well, at least the mum's happy, I guess. Come on, mum, you didn't even let me finish talking. Wow, I never thought he'd help a bunny or anyone else. Who's this guy? He's looking very mysterious. I must go and ask him everything. Son, come and see what your brother Tyler did this time. I'm coming now, Dad. Oh, it's Tyler's brother. Oh, hi there, son. Look who Tyler brought to our house. I mean, what did you all expect from a troublemaker, huh? Oh, come on. You think you can say anything about me just because you're older? Yes, after all, I'm the oldest brother here. Isn't that right, Dad? Dad, tell Steve to stop. He's asking me for a fight. Oh, really? But let me tell you that even if you tried to fight me, I would win no matter what. Are you both always like this? You fight each other? Don't worry, we don't always fight, princess. By the way, what's your name, huh, little bunny? Back off, brother. Pika, don't tell him your name. Um, I mean, kinda just gave her name away. He's silly, isn't he? My name is Pika, and yours is Steve, right? Yes, my name is Steve. This plane's about to blow up. Dad has left the scene. Oh, by the way, where do you live? Why is this brother kinda creepy? Asking her where she lives? Strange. Please don't hurt me, Tyler. I didn't make you mad or anything. Oh, she thinks he's gonna suck her blood. Don't worry, Pika. You haven't done anything wrong. Wait, so does that mean that I'm innocent? Yes, but please don't talk to my brother, okay? Okay. Even though I don't know why you don't want me to talk to him. But anyway, can you tell me how I got here to your house? After telling her. And that's what happened. So does that mean that you and your family are all vampires? Honestly, I thought he was a secret bunny in disguise, but a vampire is pretty cool. Yes, me and my family are vampires, not wolves. Then tell me, why did you help me when I was with Liam? Because I don't like to see other creatures, including my family, getting hurt by the wolves. But how can I believe you? What if you're actually a wolf, but you're lying to me? Oh, come on, why are you being a coward now, Pika? Hey, Pika, mummy said that your clothes are here and you can take them to have a bath and wear them afterwards. Oh, that's so nice of his family. They're all trying to help Pika out. Oh, thank you so much, little kids. I really appreciate that. Um, what were your names again? My name is Nico. And my name is Hekuru. Um, cute names, but why are both of your names in Japanese, but your other two siblings are English? Well, that's because our mummy loves anime so much. And that's on being a cool mum. That's why she named both of us Japanese name. Don't mind her, please. She likes anime a lot. Anyway, I'm just gonna go to take a shower now. Yeah, I don't blame her. She must be real stinky. You know, after passing out and then somehow time traveling to somebody else's house and waking up to two terrifying children. Whoa, brother, you have red cheeks like us now. After the bath. Can't believe that Tyler saved me from that place. And now that I'm in a house full of vampires, why am I always alone in every situation? Whoa, what is that? It's a spider and it's dancing. That's <laughs> terrifying. What the heck? Why did it yeet its child? I am so confused, honestly. Guys, if you're confused too, make sure to leave the word spider down in the comment section. All right, so did you both give the clothes to Pika that she's gonna be wearing? Oh, she's screaming in the bathroom because of the spider. What's wrong, Pika? Why were you screaming so loud? Um, well, it's because there's a giant spider in the bathroom and also it can talk. Did you say a giant spider? Oh, don't worry, Mummy and Pika. That spider is our pet. And his name is Spider-Man. Heh. <laughs> Who knew that one day we'd be talking to a bunny? You know, I've really matured and I can deal with anything now, brother. So I suggest that you stay away from me and from her. Well, even if you're totally matured and you're old now, I'm the older one here. And you must always listen to what I say or else I'll make you wish to never see the sunlight again, Tyler. Oh my goodness, the brothers are not getting along. Ugh. Stop talking, you're just talking nonsense. Same for you. Oh, they are just really bickering, aren't they? I am never going to that bathroom again. Um, so what did you want to talk about, Steve? I want to talk to you about my little brother. You mean Tyler, right? I would like to tell you that he is a spy. He'll report you to the company that do experiments to other creatures rather than wolves. What did you just say? Why is his brother going around lying? Is there any need? Probably not, but he's doing it anyway. 
that little troublemaker. What is he up to now? And how do you know that he's a spy? I just know it because he's my little brother, you know? Well, just because he's your brother doesn't mean that you know everything about him. Because Tyler isn't that stupid to let anyone know everything about him. Besides, Tyler wouldn't help me if he was actually a spy. So don't waste your time now trying to make me believe you. I'm trying to help you. Nothing more. Well then, please keep your help to yourself, Steve. Oh my goodness, he just got owned. As he should. How does she even know? Oh, he's fuming. All right then, I'll use my other ways. I'm really proud of you, Pika. What are you doing here, Tyler? Nothing really. I'm just so happy today, and I'm so proud of you at the same time. Yeah, yeah, just get away from me now, you weirdo. Hey there, birdie. I wish every creature could be loved the same as wolves. It's okay, Nico. Soon enough, everybody will be loved and treated the same. Okay then, I'll wait. Aw, she just wants everybody to be equal. Why is Pika so sad? No, don't take the soap, sis. Your brother always talks in his sleep. What's wrong with Pika? Why is she crying? I mean, she's been through quite a lot, so it's understandable, but also, what just set her off? Why is this so true? Like, why does every different creature get treated very bad for being different? Pika, what happened? Why are you crying? Tyler, why? Why do we all have to go through this? Please tell me why. Why does this have to happen to us? I really can't understand what you're saying right now, Pika. But I promise that everything is gonna be just okay. Um, hi there, ma'am. Can I ask you some questions? Of course you can. Go on. Ask us the questions that you would like to know the answers to. Well, I just want to ask you a question related to the world of wolves. Why can't we bunnies, or you guys, or any other creature, live here in the world of wolves? Well, it's because of a really old story. It happened between the wolves and a bunny, and it was a long time ago. So there was a bunny and a wolf from the past who were always fighting, but because the wolves are stronger than everybody, they would always win over the bunnies, and because some of them could cause real damage. But one day, the bunny got seriously mad, and he wanted to get revenge. Oh my, this is not good. And what happened after that day? And so from that day, every wolf in the world started to hate the bunnies, including any other creature that wasn't wolves. Huh? But why? Because since bunnies are different to them, then every other creature will be given the same responsibility too. But why would they do all of this to the bunnies and to all of the other creatures? Because they think that if anybody makes a mistake to them, that everybody who's related to them will take the responsibility of that. But vampires or other creatures are not related to the bunnies, so why would they have to? Because at that time, they considered every creature who was different to them, aka not being a wolf, responsible for what that one bunny did. So that's why I don't let my two little kids go out at night or study at school. I'm really sorry that you all have to go through this. No one should take responsibility of anybody else's mistake. Calm down, sweetie. It's not your fault or anybody else's fault. So no need to apologize to us, okay? Okay. Pika. Looks like your bunny friend knows everything now, huh? And so what? What is wrong with her learning about what happened in the past? Oh, calm down, my little brother. I was just being a little curious, you know. Nothing's really wrong, so... I can start on my own plans now, then. Oh no, what are his plans? Wait, why do I feel like I've forgot something, or someone important? Her mum! That's who she's forgotten about. Pika! Mum! Oh no, I forgot about my mum! I left her all alone in that house for more than three days! Hey Pika, look, I got you some pancakes! Boy! They are not pancakes, that is a donut and a cupcake. Is you blind? Thank you, Tyler, but now is not the right time for pancakes. And is she blind? That is quite obviously a donut and a cupcake. I need to go see my mum. I've left her for three days now. I bet she's so worried. And I'm so worried. I'm sorry, Pika, but I can't let you go see your mum now. What? But why not? Because it's so dangerous outside. They might be looking for you right now. So? But what about my mum? What if something's happened to her? Don't worry about that, Pika. We'll go see her after school tomorrow. What? So he's not letting her go see her mum, but he's letting her go to school? That doesn't make any sense. But what if we get caught there? 
No one will catch us as long as we're wearing masks and our hoodies. Huh? What do you mean by that? Oh wow, they're in a full spy setup. Seriously, Tyler. Oh, come on. This was the only plan that came to mind. Why are you both dressed like that? Where are you even going? Uh, we're just gonna buy some boba to drink, Dad. Do you want us to buy you one too? Do you think you can lie to me like that? Where are you going? We're actually gonna go to our college to study, sir. And why didn't you tell me that in the first place? I thought that you'd be worried for us, that we might get caught or something. Why would I even be worried when you're both dressed up so well? What was that just now? Don't mind him, please. Let's just go. Why are they going to college? I would take any excuse to not go to college. Ooh, I'm gonna go with you both. All right, time to go to college, dressed up, all in black. Totally not suspicious at all. Oh, hey, you, black mask guy. Can you tell me your name? Excuse me, but are you talking to me? Yes, can you tell me your name? We can be friends if you want. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like I need any more friends. I have this friend over here. Can we just go to college already? Excuse me, but can't you see that I'm still talking to the guy? I'm sorry, but we're just a bit late, so... Who said that I was still talking to you? Please, excuse us, we have to go. What an awkward conversation. Who even was that girl? They've already left. Let's just go now, Amber. Why did she want to be friends with a random guy wearing a mask? He looked so suspicious. Not the kind of person you want to be friends with. I'm gonna follow them and see which college they're going to. Why? That's just creepy. Oh my gosh, she really is as well. Don't tell me that she's gone to follow them, Max. You know Amber very well, Sarah. Yeah, Amber is crazy. She is literally following them. Hey, Tyler. Why do I feel like somebody is following us? Oh, come on, who would be following us now? Besides, we must sign into college now. Huh, but why do we need to sign in again? Because we're different people now, Pika. Remember? Oh, right, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Great, then follow me to the principal's office. And here comes Amber, following them. Are you happy now, Amber? They're both in our college. Yes, I'm gonna ask that blast mask guy his name today. Don't tell me you're gonna ask him now. Yep, she is. So, my little brother Tyler is in the same college as before. What an idiot. He's making my plan way easier, to be honest. I must only watch him and Pika for now, and then I can start with my plan. Ugh, why do we even need to study math? I hate it. Whoa, the vampire just disappeared. Hey, Mateo, I think I just saw someone teleport just now. I don't think he's studying here, though. Oh, come on, Nolan. You know you've been seeing a lot of things recently. Are you even sure that those glasses of yours work? I really miss Nolan and Mateo. Oh, it's that guy from this morning. Hey there. Hey, Tyler. Come on, I found our class. Wait, so your name's actually Tyler, huh? Uh, no, you must have heard wrong. What does he mean by I heard wrong? No one could call someone else a random name so randomly. <laughs> She's actually crazy. Ugh, it's all because of that little girl. What's wrong, Amber? Have you asked him his name yet? Not yet. It's all because of the girl who's with him all the time. Yeah, yeah. Keep laughing. She hasn't come to school again. Oh my gosh, Liam, finally you're back at college. By the way, do you know where Pika is? She was with you all of the time, so... I'm sorry, but I don't, so please excuse me. What do you mean by you don't? I mean, she was with you all of the time. Oh, wow, he really just walked by him like that, huh? Why does he look so nervous, though? All right, then. So, what's both of your names? Uh, my name is actually... Oh, hey there, Tyler. I can't believe that we're in the same class. So your name's Tyler, huh? Uh, me? <laughs> Actually, it's not Tyler. Just go to your seat and stop lying about your name, Tyler. Having a fake name is not working out for Tyler. Whoa, the look in his face gave me goosebumps. So, what's your name then, my dear? Um, my name, it's, uh, Mia. Alright then, Mia. Can you tell us why that you wear a mask and a hoodie? Uh, it's because I'm afraid of the virus. All right, calm down, honey. There's no need to be nervous, you know. To be fair, that was a good excuse. But also, why didn't Tyler get asked those questions? Just go and sit in front of your friend Tyler. All right then, students. Please open your science book to page 48. You idiot. 
Why did you use a name that's almost similar to your old one? Say it's the one who literally revealed his name in the first second. Tyler, why are these two students acting so weird? Ugh, I'm so bored, Tyler. What do you want me to do for you to not feel bored, huh? Catch me! You're not being serious, right, Pika? Oh, she really is. She's just run away. Come back here, you troublemaker. Do you hear his voice when he was screaming right now, Mateo? Yeah, his voice sounded like our old boss. I feel like it was a very bad idea to go back to the same college. Hey there, are you okay? Oh no, it's Liam! Whoa, you really look like somebody that I know. Maybe because it's the same person? Oh god, Tyler's here. Whoever you are, you cannot touch my friend Mia. Oh, hi there, Tyler. Long time no see. I'm sorry, but do I even know you? Who knows? You may know. You may not. Yeah, right, but I don't even know who you are, dude. And they've gone. Dang it. I must really focus on what I have to do. Oh, what a coincidental meet. Puffed. Alright, time to go to the rooftops. What are those two doing? That looked suspicious to me. It looked like they were kissing. You okay now, Pika? Did he hurt you or something? Don't worry, Tyler. I'm great. Nothing happened to me. Excuse me, Sarah, because I'm going to meet someone. Why do I have a bad feeling that she's going to do something dangerous? Hey there, Sarah. What are you doing alone here? She's totally going to annoy them. Hey there, Tyler. Do you want to have lunch with me? Oh, it's you again? Bruh, leave me alone, girl. Oh, please, what have I even done to you? Why do you even talk to a girl like her and you won't talk to me? Hey, who do you think you are to judge other people? Oh, please. I only judge trash and not people. Ooh, she is so savage. So mean. I don't like her. What did you just say? Repeat what you said right now. Me? A are you talking to me? Yes. Who would I be talking to? Apologize now. Tyler, calm down. Leave the girl alone. Tyler is fuming. You need to control your anger, Tyler. Yeah. I'll try to. Oh dear. She's crying and running away. Amber! Please don't care about them, Amber. Hey, I just want to apologize about my friend's behavior. Trust me, he's not always like that. You! It's all because of you! I'll really take revenge on you. You're such a softie. What do you think you're doing, huh? Oh no, he is getting too angry. Wait a second. What was happening to that guy's eyes? Why were they changing to the color red and then they went back? Didn't I warn you once already? Do you want me to warn you again? Oh dear. He is just losing his temper and going off the rails. Oh, he's picked Pika up. She's not doing too good, so he's taken her to the nurse's office. Pika, you're awake! What happened? Why are we in the nurse's room? Oh, there's no need to know. I'm just so glad that you're okay now. And now we need to wear our hoodies and our masks again so that nobody can see us. Did you make sure that nobody else is here? Yes, I did. No need to worry about that. We can go to class now. But wait a second, there was somebody there and she is shook. What did I just see with my own eyes? She knows the truth and she's running away. I feel like they're gonna get caught. She's gonna go and tell Amber. Yep, she is. Amber! Look what I just got. Sarah, what's wrong? Why are you in such a hurry? I'm here because I've got some scary news and I have proof. Look here. You know, it's not right to take photos of people without their permission, right? Hey, who are you and how did you know? Actually, I'm somebody that you really don't want to mess with. So I'll be taking your phone with me for safety. Hey, give me my phone back. Oh, he's gone. And he's taken the phone. My phone! It doesn't matter, because my phone has a password on it. Yeah, but also I feel like his dad is a super secret hacker guy who can probably just get into the phone. Alright now, let's see what's inside of the phone. Dang it, it has a password on it. You don't need the phone to help you, because you have me, Liam. Huh? Who's talking? And how do you know my name? Oh dear, it's the brother. I knew he was bad news. Who are you and how do you know my name? You'll know everything soon. When exactly? And how are you going to help me, huh? I said that you'll know everything soon, so no need to rush for it. So see you later. For now, Liam. What a weird guy. 
What do you mean that you didn't find them yet? Such idiots. Sir, there's somebody that wants to meet with you. Just let him in already. Under your command, sir. Oh, it's the brother. He's here. Okay. Can you introduce yourself already? Hey there, Sir James Almani. I'm Steve Walton. Wait a second. I feel like I've heard that surname before. Walton. I think I've heard it before. I'm here to help you with the thing that you lack. No way that you found what I want. Yes, exactly. Welcome back, son. Look who's here. You're that same guy from college. Yes. Didn't I tell you that you'd see and know me soon? Ugh. Anyway, what's your name? My name is Steve Walton. Wait, so you're Tyler's brother? Exactly. I don't know why he's helping out the werewolves considering he's a vampire and they also hate vampires. Alright, so college has ended today, so that means... That means that we can finally go to see my mother, right? Exactly, Pika. We can go see your mother now. Hopefully she's okay. It has been three days, and oh dear. That brother is evil. Mom, I'm back. Where are you? Finally, I'm wearing my old clothes again. Whoa, Pika's house is quite good. Ah! Pika? Pika, what happened? Oh dear, is it bad news? Wait, yeah, it is bad news. Pika? What are you trying to do, Tyler? Oh, he is licking the blood. Very strange. Are you testing the blood right now? Oh gosh, what happened to him? Tyler, what happened? Those little... They must have put poison in the blood. Tyler, wake up! What happened to you? That's it. He must have already drank the poison. Let's go. Oh dear, it was all a trick. Where did they go? Dang it! Where did they go? Oh, what is happening right now? They're escaping. What idiots. Wait a second, a flying needle! Tyler! Pika? Pika! She is falling from a great height. My gosh, she got hit by a flying needle. I was not expecting that. But wait a second, he is gonna go and save her. Leave Pika alone, you monster. Hey, Tyler, look behind you. Brother, are you here to help me? Sweet dreams, my little brother. You traitor! Oh my goodness, how could he betray his brother like that? Didn't I tell you that we could catch them? Wow. He is truly evil. Finally, I caught you, Tyler. I'll show him what the wolves can do. Anyway, son, I want you to teleport Tyler and Pika to the laboratory. Because every single creature who aren't the same as us must be caught and locked up. Oh no, they want to lock up all of the animals. Don't you worry, Pika. I'll protect you from that stupid vampire no matter what. Well, you know you didn't have to mention about the creatures. Oh, you're right. I forgot, you're also a different creature. Yeah, right, as if you do care about anyone anyway. I mean, what did you expect? I even caught your little brother because of how much I hate every other creature. Well, I don't care about anyone anyways. I just want you to remember my condition. Oh, yeah, right, about that. Oh, who's ringing? What an awkward moment for a phone call. Honey, what's wrong? Why did you suddenly get so nervous? Excuse me now, Steve. I must go and take this call immediately. Why do I feel like he's hiding something important from the others? What could he be hiding? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, hey there, sweetheart. Is he talking to his wife? Oh, finally you answered. You got me worried about you, you know. Oh, really, honey? I'm sorry. I was just a little bit busy, so... Oh, great. I thought something had happened to you. His poor wife thinking that he was in some kind of situation that needed help. And actually, he's kidnapping people. He's evil. Anyways, when are you and Liam coming home? Why? Is there something important? Not really, but I just finished preparing dinner, so... You should eat and go to sleep, because me and Liam are going to be home really late. Aw, but I thought we could all eat this dinner together. I'm really sorry, babe, but trust me, only this time... Alright, see you later then, honey. Take care. He is so evil, lying to his poor wife like that. That was close. Oh, but who was listening in? He knows all about his little lies and that his wife is a rabbit. So, he has a bunny wife and is torturing the other bunnies and rabbits. Yeah, that is kind of strange. All right, Steve, I'm done with my call now. We can go back to what we were talking about. Yeah, about the condition. 
Why do I feel like this man is a player? All right then, let's go and talk about your condition at the laboratory. What an idiot. Oh, here we are in the lab. Hey, what's happening here? Why am I tied up with chains? Oh, you're finally up? Do you not remember what happened? Pika, where is she? She was with me. Dude, is Pika the only thing that you managed to remember? Did you just say a thing? You mean Pika's a subject? Oi, bro, calm down. I really didn't mean it like that. Oh, finally, you're back, Cilium. Pika! Leave Pika alone, you little- I do not like how close he is to Pika. I'm getting very weird vibes. Stop screaming like an idiot, Tyler. She won't listen to you. So don't waste your time trying to talk to her. Because from now on, I'll protect her from you, Tyler. You must protect her from a backstabber like you first. These two are really fighting over Pika and it's getting me kind of uncomfortable. They need to calm down. So then, come here to protect her from me. What did you just dare to say to me? Oh dear, he has made him so mad. You dare to talk back to me even when you're tied up, Tyler? Oh please, do you think I'd be scared of you when I'm tied up? This is what you get for talking back to me. No, Tyler, don't leave me. Pika, I'm here, don't worry. What is going on? He just kidnapped her again. Leave Pika alone. This little Pika, please don't leave me too. Oh, he's heartbroken. And he's all chained up. I feel so bad for him. Looks like your little brother's scared now, huh? Oh, please. Does it even look like I'm scared? Anyway, did you remember about my condition? What condition? Oh, come on. Don't tell me that you forgot about my condition so easily. It's Pika. You clearly said that you'll set her free because I told you so. Oh, but I don't remember saying something like that. You better not be joking with me right now, old man. Doctors and guards, now please. Oi. You old man, you better not be making a trap on me. Oh, I think he is. He has definitely trapped you. Oi, leave me alone. How can you be such a big idiot, Steve? Wow, what an insult. Big idiot. How original. Do you really think that I would listen to your condition and leave you and Pika? Psych. Besides, don't think that I would ever leave you alone, Steve. Steve has been bamboozled. You're also going to suffer just like them. You idiot. You better leave me now, or you'll pay for this, old man. I swear to gosh that I'll make you wish that you never mess with me. Yeah, yeah. Like I'd even wish for that. You really dare to betray me, huh? That's enough. You better shut up now, or we'll- Or you'll what, huh? I have a feeling he's about to break out of here. What an idiot. He fell into my trap very quickly. I'm sorry, sir, but who are you talking about? Oh my gosh, what is that siren? That is so loud. Don't tell me it's him. It's some kind of alarm. Oh my goodness, what is happening to people? Is he okay on the ground? This little- No way that he ran away so suddenly. Damn it. Steve. Damn that Steve. And there he is behind the lockers watching him. He's so <laughs> proud of himself. You'll pay for this old man. And I really mean it. What are you doing standing here, Sam? Me? I was just checking if everything was okay. Well, everything's not okay, Sam, because Steve ran away just now. Wait, he already ran away? I love how even Sam is like, wow, you did a terrible job at capturing this guy. Yes, and I want you to go and send some guards to look for him. Hey, Pika, can you hear me? It's gonna be okay, don't worry. Liam, what are you doing? And why am I with you? Oh, you finally woke up, Pika. I was really worried about you. Tyler! Where is he? Did you do anything to him? Oh, why do you even care about him that much, Pika? I'm here after all. Didn't you miss me? No, I did not miss you. What? And why didn't you miss me, Pika? Tell me why, huh? Why did you care about Tyler the most? Oh, this guy is not having a good time. He is breaking down in front of her. I don't care about you because you're a big backstabber, Liam. Ooh! girl tell him i am living for the drama you literally backstabbed and hurt me twice liam and now you're trying to act kind and forget about what you did to me and tyler pika i really didn't mean to just please leave me alone liam i'm really tired of you as you want pika what should i do all by myself now oh he's feeling sorry for himself well he shouldn't have been such a big backstabber and a big liar should he what do i even do right now i was doing all of this for her but she hates me now of course she does you kidnapped her that's like the worst thing you can do to someone you like are you done with your dramatic crying now liam what's wrong dad why are you talking to me as if I did something wrong? It's Steve. He ran away and I want you to get him back here now. So what? Why do I need to go and get him back, huh? Don't you ever dare roll your eyes on me, you little- Alright, I'll stop them rolling again. Son, you better listen to what I say 
Or else I will- Or you'll do what, Dad? Or else you'll regret it. Your one and only cousin Pico will be involved. You wouldn't dare to do that. Nothing will happen to her if you listen to me, of course. Pika! There she is. I want you to do some experiments on her. I want her to suffer, just like any other different creature would. Understand your command, Sir James. Great then, I'll be taking my leave. Pika! What's happening to you? Oh, there she is. Why is she on the floor? She looks so sad. Pika, who was the idiot that hurt you, Pika? It was this guy. This guy looks like he'd be so nice. I mean, look at his hair. It's amazing, but he's horrible. I'm a vampire and you really shouldn't mess with me. A what? I didn't hear you. He is a vampire, sir. You better watch out. Oh, poor Pika. She's been through so much today. Hyla, what was that just now? Yeah, that was me, Pika. Now, come here. Oh yeah, she's never seen him in vampire form. That must be quite shocking. Pika, no, not again, please. Oh no, now the evil dad has Pika. You'll pay for this. Hey, Tyler, calm down. How about I tell you a little secret? Do you remember when you said that if we really ended Pika's mom's life, you said, then why would we take her with us if she's actually dead? Yeah, and then I drank the blood and the poison. So what? It was really a plan to make you drink the poison that makes you feel dizzy and weak. But more so the serious part is that Pika's mum is not really dead and now she's in an experimental room. And now go and have fun trying to tell this great news to Pika. Oh my gosh, this guy is so evil. You are so heartless. He'll really pay for this soon enough. <laughs> oh no, somebody's crying. Weird, why do I recognize that crying? It's so familiar. Ugh, it's locked. She can't get out. Wait a second, how did she just break out of there? She literally just opened the door. That's not very secure, is it? Wait a second, mom? Oh, little girl, do you miss your mummy? Well, too bad that you're not gonna see her again. Why, what are you gonna do to her? Wouldn't you like to know? And all of a sudden, they've disappeared. And all this time, I thought my cousin's father wasn't that bad. But he's also the guy that literally killed my dad. I mean, that old man has a point though. If it wasn't for me to drink that poison, then I wouldn't have been weaker and I wouldn't have ran away. Enough. Don't just think over about what happened in the past, Tyler. You must now only focus on the future, like what I should do to help me and Pika. Hey, are you done thinking now? No, I'm still thinking. Do you have a problem with that? Well, too bad, because you have to come with me now, because that's what my master has ordered me to do. He doesn't sound like he wants to do that though. <laughs> He's even rolling his eyes. All right, follow me now. Pika, you're here too? Yes, and you better not think about taking her and running away. If only I was a little bit stronger, then I would have teleported instead. All right, kids. So today I want you both to move this glass here without touching it. Using mind powers. Are you out of your mind? How can we even move them? With your powers, of course. Are you being an idiot? How do we have powers? That's enough. We're starting with you now, Pika. But we're really telling the truth, ma'am. We don't have any powers. Stop lying. You better move this glass with your powers right now. So, you really do have a power, huh? Looks like you couldn't use your powers very well because you're weaker than usual. You're right. I'm not using it well because I am weaker. But all that doesn't mean I can't use it at all. Oh my gosh, what is going on in there? Did you really just leave that vampire and bunny alone with her? I'm afraid I did, sir. Well then. Go and stop them now, you idiot. The door's not opening, sir. What do you mean it's not opening, huh? Oh, he is trying to get in there. He's literally beating it down with his fist. Go on in now. It's open. I feel bad for this poor guard. I bet he's terrified. What's happened now? How can those two still have the courage to run away? There they are. They're making a break. They're gonna get out of here. Or so I hope. Tyler, are you okay? You look really tired. Oh, me? Yeah, I'm okay. No need to worry about me, Pete. So does that mean we can help my mum now? Tyler does not look good. Tyler? Looks like this boy needs to sit down, honestly. Tyler, please wake up. Please don't leave me. A few hours ago. Finally, I found it. It's time to go now. What is he up to? He's being very sus. Wait a second, isn't that Pika's auntie? Could that be James and Liam? They're finally back. Welcome back, honey. I really missed you. Wait, you're not my husband. Who are you? Don't worry, ma'am. I'm your husband's friend. And how can I believe that you won't hurt me? Since, you know, I'm a bunny and now you know. Don't worry, ma'am. 
I won't hurt you because I'm also a different creature just like you. Wait, are you a girl? Oh my gosh, did she really just ask that? No, I'm a guy, but I just have long hair. Guys can also have long hair, okay? And it was rude of her to assume that. Oh, I didn't know that James's house was so great. Sorry for making you wait so long. It just took me a little bit of time to make you a coffee. Thank you so much, ma'am. But I don't drink coffee, so you can drink it if you want. Anyway, what did you want to tell me? After all, you're my husband's friend, so I'm gonna listen to you. Yes, that was the past, but we're not friends anymore. Why? Did something happen? Yes, and you wouldn't want to see it, ma'am. Can you tell me what's going on, young man? She is so confused! I don't think you'd believe me without seeing it with your own eyes. All right then, you'll be taking me there. I want to learn everything. Are you really sure you want to go? I'm 100% sure. Huh. <laughs> I never thought it would be this easy. Ready to go. We can go now. Here, hold my hand, ma'am. Why? What are you going to do? They are teleporting to the lab. At school. Oh, there are some people running for their lessons. Why are all of these students here? Because maybe it's a school where students are gonna be? I don't know though. That was just a wild guess. Are they all staring at a photograph of Tyler and Pika what is going on? Great, now everybody knows that Tyler and Pika aren't real wolves. Oh, yeah, that photo actually is kind of important. Pika has her ears out and Tyler's being exposed as well. And everybody knows that they're a bunny and a vampire. Well done, Sarah. I hope you're proud of yourself. I mean, what's wrong with them being different? Yes, Amber, that's what we're talking about. Him over there. Is that Liam? Wait, did everybody find out about Pika and Tyler being the vampire and a rabbit? I guess I should just leave now, so I don't get into other people's business. Wait, don't go anywhere yet, Liam. Amber, what do you want right now? I'm a little bit busy, so... Is that really how you talk to other people? Anyway, what did you want to talk about? It's about Pika and Tyler. Don't act like you don't know what happened. I know that Pika is actually your cousin. I really can't believe that you'd leave your cousin like that. If you were really a real cousin, you wouldn't have let anybody know her true form. I might have hurt Pika a little bit in the past, but that doesn't mean that I'd expose her, you know. The bully has become nice suddenly. Why? Who even told you that I exposed her? I'm just like you. Surprised of what just happened. I know that you were still looking for her just because she was a bunny. So you're actually even worse than those who exposed a Liam. I mean, she's kind of right though. I only listened to my dad and started looking for her and I didn't really care about her feelings. I hope he understood what I meant. Hey Amber, what were you talking about right now with Liam? Why do I feel like he'll react if I tell him I was talking about Liam and Pika? You don't have to tell me everything with that evil look on your face. Such a coward. He looks really sad, nervous, and depressed at the same time. I'm gonna have a talk with him right now. Hey there, Emily. What you doing? Wanna hang out and grab some lunch with me? Liam, wait. I want to talk to you right now. Oh, I feel so bad for him. He ran away without paying any attention. Hey, Mateo. I just saw Emily running away over here. Oh no, he's drawing attention to it. That's awkward. What do you want, Emily? Hey, Emily, what do you think you're doing? See, I knew that you were sad because of what happened. You wouldn't be happy that Peek has been exposed, right? Of course not, because she's my cousin and my childhood best friend after all. You remember your childhood with her and you want to get her back, right? What do you mean by get her back? Don't you know? Pika was kidnapped by some wolves who do horrible experiments to different creatures. Does everybody know that Pika's being kidnapped? Liam, is everything okay with you, dude? Liam, wait, you forgot your hat. Great, now everybody knows that Pika wasn't actually scared of coming to college, but it's because she was kidnapped by monsters and one of those monsters is me. Did he seriously think for a second he could get away with kidnapping a college student? Obviously, people are gonna know. It's not often somebody just disappears. Gosh. Please help me get through all of this. Save Pika and Tyler from my evil dad. Did you just say Tyler and Pika? After that, he told them about everything. And that's what actually happened. Are you saying that Pika and Tyler were with you all of this time and you didn't tell us? Calm down, Mateo. Let him breathe. Trust me, I was forced by my dad to do all of this. And now I really need both of your help to fix everything. And why do you even think we'd help you after all of this? I mean, sure, if you finally understood what you've done and you want to fix it, we'll help you fix it up, dude. Guys, I entered the house and I got you guys some clothes, but I couldn't find my mum in there. Oh, really? 
How did you open the door then, huh? Have the keys, idiot. Oh, wait, what if she's shopping? Yeah, what if she's out shopping or something? But my mum usually tells me before she goes anywhere. Then let's go and help Tyler and Pika and after that we can go and find your mum. Okay, a few hours later. Tyler, thank gosh that you've woken up. Why? What happened? It's really not the right time to talk about it now. Here they are. Go and catch them both now. Oh no, they found us. What do we do now, Tyler? Is he gonna teleport them? <laughs> he did. Did you catch them? I'm going to find them means I'm going to find them. It's literally not his fault. They teleported away. They're going to run away each time I try to catch them. Then I'll have to stop them for a final time. Sir, I found them. They're right here. Oh no, they didn't teleport very far, did they? Like literally around the corner. You wouldn't dare hurt me or Tyler. You can go. Leave this to me now. Wow, I can't believe that the bunny is protecting her protector now. Yes, it's me. Do you not miss your dad's killer? Wait, what did you just say? It's your turn now, Pika. You and Tyler. What did you just say, honey? Babe? Auntie? Oh my goodness. She has just heard everything. She was unaware that her husband was evil. Is all of what I just heard right? No, no, of course not, honey. I would never do such a thing. Stop lying, dad. You literally did all of those things without hesitating. So I'm here to save both Pika and Tyler from you. Son? Yep. That's right, here he is, and he's shown up with his two friends. You better back off now. Liam! You traitor! Pika! Liam? Why? I've always promised that I'll protect you no matter what, so... Liam? My son! Oh my goodness, guys. This is so sad. Ah, it's so hot here. I wish I could just take my hoodie off like any other creature. Hey, Pika, hold my hand for a second. Okay. But can you just tell me why? Oh, he just took her. Like, literally dragged her off the screen. Where are they going? Oh my god. Liam just threw her into the water. <laughs> Liam, you idiot. Help me. He thinks this is so funny. Oh my gosh. I would be so mad if I was Pika. My hair would be wet through and I would not be happy. Stop laughing, you idiot, and come and help me. Yeah, she is looking pretty wet. Seriously, cousin, it's really not funny, by the way. Look at her hair. Oh my goodness, she's drenched. This is better for you, because you said that you're feeling hot, right? To be fair, she did. Well, thank you for that and all. But what if some wolves see me? That's true, because she doesn't have her disguise on anymore. No one can hurt you when I'm here, Pika. Thank you so much for that, cousin. Really glad to have you by my side. I'm glad to have you by my side too, sister. Um, you mean cousin, right? Well, I know that you're my cousin, but I like to call you sister. Can't I? Because I've always wished to have a kind sister like you. Aw, that's actually so sweet. Bless him. All right then, cousin. I mean, brother. Will you promise me that you'll always stay by my side? Are you an idiot? Of course I'll stay by your side and I'll protect you. I promise you, sister. Aw, they're actually so cute. Hashtag family goals. But here we are in the future and things are looking dramatic. Why? You promised me you'd stay with me forever. I know, but I also promised you that I'd do anything to protect you, sister. And now, all I want to say is goodbye, cousin. I mean, sister. Oh my goodness, Liam has been hurt. Don't leave us, son. Liam, my only son. You killed my one and only son. What are you talking about? He was the one that sacrificed his own life. Shut up. You have killed our son, and you still have the courage to- Are you deaf? I told you I didn't kill our son. That's enough. Oh my gosh, what has happened to her? Now she has black hair and wings. Pika, are you okay? Does she look okay? Something strange is going on with Pika. Oh my gosh, her wings have changed. They're even bigger now. Wow. I was waiting for this moment so bad. I've waited over 10 years to see if the bunnies can really have powers or not. And now it's time to kill you, little bunny, for having a power that no one can defeat. Wait a second, she's disappeared. Where did she go? Oh my. She's angry and wants revenge. Will you ever shut up, you old man? Oh my gosh, she literally just yeeted him. He's gone now. And now, let's take Liam to the hospital. Okay, Pika. This story is crazy. She just teleported and took him to the hospital. Girl's powerful. What just happened right now? Hey, James. Can you tell me what's going on? I don't know if James can. He looks a little bit knocked out. Whoa. 
The way she throwed him was strong enough to make him faint. How interesting. But does she even have powers? Oh, I definitely think she does have powers because she grew wings. Hey, I want to tell you that your son is really a hero. I mean, you must be a really good mom to raise a loyal child like you did. And now, do you want to teleport with me to the hospital? Oh, that's really sweet of you, young man. And off they go to the hospital. Jeez, look at him. Poor Liam is strapped up to all of the hospital machines. Liam, why? Why did you do this for me? He was protecting you, Pika, like he said he would. Oh wow, she just changed back to a normal form. And here's a nurse. Um, excuse me, but are you a bunny? Um, I'm going to have to report you to the cops. Oh yeah, because she's not in her disguise. Oh dear. Reporting you for entering someone's room without any permission. Excuse me, but he's my cousin and I was the one who got him here. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't believe what bunnies have to say because they're big liars and they're dangerous. And we have to arrest them for that. Oh dear, you don't want to mess with this bunny though. She has special powers. What the? Who even are you? She's out for revenge. Ah! There's a monster in here! I think the nurse is having a little bit of a panic. What is even going on? Who needs help? Yep, it's the nurse who's just got yeeted out of the room. Everybody in this story goes flying. They've just arrived here and they're thinking, what's going on? What if there's really a monster in there? There's not a monster but there's a bunny and there's nothing scarier than a cute bunny rabbit. Pika, was that you just now? Yeah, are you here to fight me for what I just did, Tyler? Of course not. I was just wondering who it was. Why is your face red, huh? Are you sick or something? Um, me? N nothing. You're just imagining things, Pika. I mean, his face really is kind of red. What's going on with him? Anyways, Pika, how did you turn like that? What power even is this that you're using right now? I just suddenly felt so angry at that time, and somehow I've got this power. What if this power is dangerous for you? I mean, it's all because of that old man James. Well, I can't agree with you on that one, because I don't feel hurt or dangerous. If you did say that it was because of my cousin's dad, then I think that you're right here. He was the reason I felt so angry and needed to stop him immediately. Don't worry, Pika. I'm sure your cousin, I mean your brother, he'll be just fine. Oh, she's so happy. Oh, so it was just Pika. Also, son, I hope you get better soon enough. Later, in the other place. What is the other place? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Great. Now I'm finally home. I'll ask my dad about this power thing that Pika had got a little time ago because my dad probably knows about these things. I love how he's just stood there thinking to himself like an evil genius. Brother, you're finally back? Where were you all this time? And where's brother Tyler? I don't know exactly where he is, but he's totally fine. When will he come back? Cause mummy and daddy are worried about him and you. Soon enough. You don't have to worry that much, Hikaru. Brother, where are you? Come back. Who's saying that? Oh, there she is. Brother, is that you? Yes, Nico. It's brother Steve. What about brother Tyler? Where is he right now? Don't worry about him, little Nico. He's coming back soon enough. Yay. Honey, calm down. I'm sure they're just fine. How do you want me to calm down when they haven't been home for almost five days? Mummy, Daddy, Brother Steve is back. Did you hear that, William? Steve's back. Are you sure, Nico? Yes, Dad. She's right. I came back home and I'm sorry that I got you guys worried. Where were you for all of this time then, huh? I'll tell you about everything right away. But right now, I want to ask you some important things, Dad. Your boy means business, so he's taken down his hood and he's changed his hair. First of all, can you tell me about James Almani? How do you both know each other? You know, before. How do you know about this man, son? I just met him a few days ago and told him my name and my surname. And then he said that he kind of heard of my surname, the surname Walton. He said something about knowing that before, so he's still alive? Where is he right now? Did he tell you about him having a childhood friend who had the same surname, Walton? No. Why? Because years ago, James Almani was my childhood best friend. What? A long time ago. My name's James Almani. Nice to meet you, William. Nice to meet you too, James. Anyway, William, do you want to meet my friends at school? I mean, sure. I don't mind. Great. Then follow me. Hey there, guys. I'm back. Oh my goodness. I think this is how the parents met. How are you, Amelia? I'm great. Thanks for asking, James. Come on, bro. Come and meet my friends. Guys, this is my new friend, William. He's just like you, Sophia. A 
afraid of showing his wolf ears and his tail. Say afraid again and I'll end you right away, James. Introduce yourself to him. Hi there, I'm Sophia and I'm seven years old. And I'm Amelia and I'm also seven years old. It's so nice to meet you, William. After that, they spent much time together and became super close with each other. Not now. I need blood. I feel so thirsty. Great. I still have one bottle of blood to drink. Mm. Delicious! We love drinking blood! Not! That is so gross. And he's being caught supping on the red liquid. Hey! I can explain! Wait! You're also a vampire too? Oh my gosh. She's a vampire! Your eyes, they're red too! Are you? Yes, dummy. I'm a vampire, just like you. What a coincidence, huh? But we must hide this from the others, okay? I know. Does that mean I'm not the only person who isn't really a wolf? They both lied to me that they were wolves. Oh no, he thought that they were wolves, but they're actually vampires. What is he up to? He's super mad about it. Oh, hey there, James. How are you, bro? How's it going? Horrible. Is everything okay, James? What's horrible? Don't even touch me, you little liar. What happened to you, James? Why did you suddenly become so mad? Don't act like you don't know what you did. You both literally lied to me about you being wolves, but instead, you both turned out to be vampires. But I really can't explain. No buts. You both are no longer my friends. Wow. I really can't believe that true friends would leave each other so fast. You both literally lied to me about being wolves. Like, it's not even that hard to tell me about you being a vampire. Yeah, right. Like you would accept us if we said that we weren't wolves, right? What? Let's just go from here, Sophia. Aw, they knew that they wouldn't be friends if they told the truth. And that's why they hid it. But you shouldn't lie to your friends. Look there, James. I'm also not a wolf. Oh dear. She's a bunny rabbit. What's wrong? Are you going to treat me bad like how you did to them too? No, because you're not a liar like them. And you told me the truth about your form just now. Oh really? But I feel like I also lied to you about my real form. I mean like, I took enough time to tell you the truth about myself. It doesn't matter. As long as it's you, I'm totally fine about it. You don't have to worry, Amelia. You'll always be forgiven by me anytime. So you only forgive the people you care about, huh? And here's where everything began. Where William and James became close friends. And nobody could ever ruin their true friendship. But after that, where James found out about the truth of William's real form, he ruined his relationship between them and left them alone forever. Also for William, he couldn't accept the fact that he can't be friends again with James. So he also decided to leave him and go to another country. And since that time, your dad and James haven't seen each other. So that makes sense to why he said that my surname was familiar to him when I told him. Do you need to ask anything else, son? Oh yeah, right. I also want to ask another question about this. Look at this, dad. Oh my, it's a photo of Pika. Can you explain to me how she suddenly turned like that? Bunnies can actually have powers sometimes, son. It's actually a little complicated, but it's true and it's happening to other bunnies too. Once every 50 years, a bunny can have a chance to take an elemental power and it will stay with them for the rest of his or her lifetime. You mean there are still a few people here who have their elemental powers with them? Yes and they're still as strong as before. Then what do you think Pika's elemental power is? It's the dark side element. This element is the strongest and the most dangerous element on this planet. Not many people have had this element power before because of how dangerous it is. So I'm surprised at how your friend got it so suddenly. He is so shooker. Um, all right, thank you, dad. I need to go because I have something important to do. Dang it, what's gonna happen now? I forgot about my little brother, Tyler. Now what's mum and dad going to think? I must do something about this problem. And try to make everything look normal like it was before. And all of a sudden, he's just changed his outfit. Brother, are you inside? Mummy and daddy want to talk to you. Oh no, I must leave now. And just like that, he disappears. Huh? He's not here too? Hikaru, have you called our big brother Steve? Mum and dad want to have a talk with him. I did call him, but he isn't here, sister. Huh? Where did he even go so fast? Father? Where are you? Son. Oh, he's having a bad dream. Sir, is everything okay with you here? Where's my son Liam? Where did he go? Sir, your son Liam is with Tyler and Pika at the hospital right now. So now they dare to run away from here and take my son Liam with them? We tried to stop them, sir. 
but they were so fast and so strong. And what are you waiting for now, huh? Go look for them again and catch them right away. This little girl, Pika, dares to use her power on me and run away, huh? I'll make her wish that she never was born and never got this elemental power. Here we are at the hospital. Oh. So she's here. Wait a second, I just realized that she isn't hiding her bunny form. Liam, my son, please stay alive. She must be really worried about her son, huh? I mean, it's her husband's fault after all for shooting his own son. Anyways, let's just take her with me for now and see what she could help us with. Oh dear, he's literally taken her. I feel so thirsty. I need to drink some water. He's gonna realize that she's missing because she was sat on that chair before. Wait a second, where did Pika's aunt go? What if someone took her with them because she's a rabbit? After all, rabbits are not safe in this world. I must go and look for her because she's a very close person to Pika. Tyler, where did he go? Also, my auntie Amelia isn't here too. Where could they be at a time like this? I told my dad that I want his credit card to go shopping. And because I'm his favorite daughter, he gave it to me without even thinking. Yeah, yeah, you're so lucky, we know. These people are shooker. What are all of those people looking at? All right. Where are we going to next? Oh, she ran away. This girl's really gonna give me a headache. Girl, why do you run so fast? What is she staring at? Is that Tyler and Pika over there? Yes, and I'll go find out what's going on. If you dare to fight him again, you'll be over. Oh really? What could a bunny like you do, huh? What did you just say? Oh, Pika's mad. And she's kind of scary when she's mad. You think you can run away from me that easily, Pika? You little. Pika Pika, what is happening? Flying needles? Where did they come from? Max, come and take them with us. Oh, uh, why am I not surprised it's him? Finally, this is the end of them. What just happened here? Finally, I took off my mask. Great, and now I must go and wake her up to fix everything I did. Hey ma'am, please wake up. Honey, where did you leave my blood bottle? Oh, this is kind of awkward. Son, who is this woman? What is happening here? Where am I? Oh, mum, you really couldn't remember your childhood best friend? My childhood best friend? Um, I'm sorry, but do I even know you? Of course, you idiot. I'm your best friend, Sophia, Amelia. Do you remember me? Sophia, is that you? Sophia! So you're actually Amelia from the past? Yes, and I really missed you guys so much. Hey, son, where's your little brother too? Tyler, he hasn't come home for like five days now. So where is he now? I'm really sorry about your son, William, but he was caught up by my evil husband, James. I mean, your childhood best friend, William. I'm really sorry, Dad. It was all my fault. I was the one who made him get caught up, but I can really confirm that I've changed and I want to fix everything now. Then go on and show us what you've done to help your brother, Tyler. But just to put in your mind, I'll be having a long talk with you after you help out your little brother. What have you got on your mind, son? I actually have quite a good plan that will help to get my little brother back, but it needs Miss Amelia's help to do it. I'm always here to help y'all. After all, I want to fix everything my husband has done, so I'm always ready. You. I really want to end you. Oh really? Because it looks like I'm the one who wants to end you right now. Sweet dreams, Tyler. Oh my, his phone is ringing. What an awkward moment for that to happen. Looks like you're a little bit lucky, huh, Tyler? You still have time to die. Oh, and he's gone. Hey, listen. I'm really sorry for you and Pika, ma'am. I really wish there was something I could do to help you and Pika out. Wow, wow. Aren't you supposed to help your master, buddy? I know, but I'm really forced to do all of this. What? Max, get Tyler here and come with me now. Oh, poor Max. He just wants to help, but he's been forced to be evil. So James, I got Tyler here. What do we do now? Miss Amelia? Dad? Long time no see, best friend. You little. Oh my, look who's shown up. You thought I wouldn't come back and take revenge on you, James? Babe, help me, please. They said that they're going to kill me. Honey. But don't worry, guys, because it's all a secret plan. Just open now. It's open. Finally. She can escape. Wait a second. Am I on a rooftop right now? But how did I even get here? Leave my wife alone, you little. What's going on? Who's screaming? Tyler. Auntie. Do you want your son, William? Then you better give me back my wife or else. Are you trying to play my anger, James? You better give me back my son or else you won't see our best friend again. I mean, your wife. You wouldn't dare. Enough is enough. 
That's Pika's voice. Pika? Pika's mad. She has got her powers and she's ready to use them. Pika! My little Pika! Oh my gosh, look at her! She looks amazing! Like she should be in Sailor Moon or something. She looks so cool, by the way. Just look at her! Pika! This little bunny! Heh, you think you'll win over me using your useless powers, Pika? I think he seriously misunderstands how powerful she is. I have your friend Tyler here, so if you try to do anything back to me then he will be unalive oh my he is so evil run away he's running to safety pika i missed you so much i'm so glad he managed to escape though thank gosh you're okay i was worried about you so much why does pika just look unimpressed like she does not want to be there right now yeah yeah now please get off of me so i can breathe pika my dear girl i'm really glad that you're still alive pika auntie oh she needs to save her auntie why can she hear a heartbeat what's that um is everything okay pika what are you whispering liam pika what's wrong do you think something happened to Liam? Yes, I feel like he called my name just now and that he needs me. Oh, she has like a spiritual connection going on with him. And she suddenly turned back into the original Pika. Tyler, where's Liam? Um, Liam, he's in the hospital right now. Why? And did you really feel like he was calling you just now? Or were you imagining it? I feel like she has this connection to him, you know? And that he's not doing so well. No, he was really calling me. I'm sure about it. Pika, wait, where are you going? These two are gonna give me a headache. I think it's time for me to leave. Honestly, yeah, she should have left a long time ago. Max, prepare more guards. We need to catch this stupid bunny and her friend right away. But you're the stupid one, because he's talking to himself. Oi, yo, Max. Didn't you hear what I said? Max! Little Max is no more. He has scarpered, as he should. Leave me a little. I want to have a talk with him. Okay, but be more careful with him, Amelia. All right, William. Dad, do you think it's a good idea to leave her with him right now? I'm not sure enough. It's little Max. I'm gonna run alive him if I see him again. Are you really that mad because they ran away from you? I mean, yeah, it was his little henchman, so understandable. Amelia, how did you- It was all a plan to stop you from what you're doing. Did you just say a plan? Honey, I really didn't mean to trick you or anything. I mean, she did, and that was the entire point. So I don't know what she's talking about. I just did this for you to calm down and to stop what you're doing. Because I'm also a bunny and your wife at the same time. You teamed up with my worst enemy to stop me from doing what I was doing? And now you're trying to explain this to me about all of this? Yeah. But trust me, I did it for you too. Shut up. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Oh my gosh, he has gone crazy. I do what I like and no one can ever stop me from this. Dude, that's your wife. Do you understand that, Amelia? Even if I told you to stop it, don't even think that I would stop what I'm doing only because you told me to. What? But I'm your wife after all. Did you forget about me that easily? Are you planning to hurt me how you're hurting the others now? That's enough. You're not my wife anymore. Are you happy now? Oh my gosh, I think these guys are gonna get a divorce. This is awkward. Oh, he's left. This James, how can he be so heartless? Now what am I going to do by myself? Honestly, girl, you're better off without him. Cause he's crazy. Hey, calm down, Amelia. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. This can't be a misunderstanding. He literally said that I'm not his wife anymore. So please leave me alone right now. And she's gone. What just happened? She told him that all of this was a plan and now he doesn't accept her as his wife anymore. She did all of that to remind him that she's also a bunny and that what he's doing is wrong. I know, but when James sees somebody he trusts tricking him or teaming up with his enemies, he literally forgets about his relationship with them and he becomes so evil. He treated me like a monster when he found out that I was lying about me being a wolf. Pika, please wait a little. Oh no, she must already be in. What if something really bad happens to Liam right now and Pika has to see it. I must go and get her out of there. I'm really sorry for your loss, young kids. Wait, what? He actually died? I was not expecting that. Oh, I feel so bad for Pika. He's opening his eyes. Why? Well, he was calling someone at the time. 
He was saying Pika. Poor man. I think he really wanted to see this so bad before he died. Oh, she's closed his eyes. He can finally rest. Pika! Pika, please stop running. We can talk about this together. Pika, please calm down. You didn't do anything wrong to cry that much. Yes, but Liam has literally died. So why can't he understand why she's crying? This guy. Where is his brain cells? He was calling me all of this time and I wasn't there for him in his last moments. I know, but it's still not your fault, Pika. You were always there for him at any time. So it's not your fault that you couldn't be with him in his last moments. Do you think so? Yes, and I'm sure if you knew that he was calling you before, then you would have been there for him. Thank you so much, Tyler. I feel more comfortable. Anyway, how about we go to your house and rest for a little bit? Sure, I don't mind. Wait a second, who is that? What were those two talking about? Mysterious stranger! Oh yeah, today was so tiring. Oh no, I must leave this place before anyone sees me. I'm so curious to who that was, they were so mysterious. Poor Pika, she's gone through a lot these last few days. And it's all because of this heartless old man. If only I could end him right now. Go on Tyler, get in. She's waiting for you. Wait a second, but they're being followed. So, they're here after all. But wait a second. Would they believe me after all of the things I've done to them? You have something to say to us, Max? Yes, they were listening in. Tyler? Tyler, come on. How many times do I have to call you? Wait a second. Is that Max from the lab where we were at? Yep, it's Max. And now he's trying to redeem himself. Go on. What did you want to tell us, huh? Or is it a trap again to kill me and Tyler? Well, it's that- Oh, I'm so hungry. Is there any food we can eat here, Pika? Tyler, this is not the moment to be hungry, okay? Anyways, what were you saying? Well, the real thing is that I want to help you from what you're both going through. Oh, really? Aren't you working with that old man, James? I know I was, but I can really confirm that I was forced to do all of this. All right then, go on. What have you got to confirm to us? Oh my gosh, you're actually a bear? Yes, I am. That's why I don't like seeing other different creatures like you being tortured. And were you hiding your real form all of this time? Yes, because the place I was in was surrounded by so many guards and cops. All right then. What are you going to do to help us? I'm going to help you get back your mother from James because she's really in danger right now. So my mum was alive this entire time? Um, what? But I thought you knew about that. How would I know about that? Evil James told me that he had her killed. Wait, did he seriously tell you that? Well, yeah. Why else would she have been living with her auntie this entire time? Yes, he did. Hey, listen, Pika. I also knew about this, but I forgot to tell you. Why are people not telling her this very important information? Especially Tyler. I'm so sorry for that. Whatever. Let's go and help my mother right away. Oh yes, it is long overdue that her mum gets out. Trust me, I'm gonna save you from this evil man. You again. Oh, it's a little spider. She's got such a cute face. Even though I hate spiders, like I'm literally terrified of them. But that one's kinda cute. How am I going to sleep now when there's little spiders here? Hey Pika, have you slept yet? Because tomorrow we're going to... Um, is everything okay there, Pika? No, can you take this little spider out of my bedroom? I can't sleep while it's here. Okay, Pika. Tyler to the rescue. After all of this. Calm down, Amelia. Stop crying, please. James? Stop it now, James. I hate how annoying you are. Aw, is my little queen mad at me? All right, all right. I'll stop teasing you now, Amelia. I can handle anything but see my queen mad or sad. Aww, they were so cute together. But now he's evil. Gosh, please help me get through all of this. Oh, somebody's calling. Who is it? It's a call from the hospital where Liam is. Um, hello? Is everything okay? Is my son Liam okay? Oh my gosh, she doesn't know yet. She just got the news. Son, I must go and see him before I lose him too. She already lost him. My son, where is he? How is he? He's dead. You, it's you. What's wrong with you, huh? Why do you keep saying it's you? Cause you're the one who killed him. You! You're not the real James I know. I know. The old James has gone now. I really hate you right now. Right in front of their dead son as well. If it wasn't your stupid brother's daughter, then our child would have still been alive. And that's why I'll unalive them all now. Gosh, how can he be this evil? Who the... 
that did that. You, what do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm only doing what my master ordered me to do. Oh my gosh, wait, what? Did you do what I told you to do? Yes, sir. Great, now take her to the laboratory. Oh my gosh, is she okay? Because she doesn't look okay. Now you'll see how I'll take revenge for our son, Amelia. Wait a second, is that Max again? Let me just leave before anyone sees. The next day. Eh? Why do I look like a ghost? Probably because your best friend just died. Anyway, let me see what the guys are doing right now. Guys, are you both awake now? Should I make breakfast? Pika, is everything okay with you both? Did you hear what I just said? Um, Tyler, who is this and what are they talking about? I'm going to unalive her mom and everybody else right now. Whose mom is that guy talking about, Tyler? Pika, she needs to save her mom like ASAP. Leave me alone, Tyler. I need to help my mom. Calm down, Pika. We'll definitely help your mom. Oh, he's so proud of himself, isn't he? Heh. <laughs> I knew that Pika was listening. Set me free right now. I want to talk with my husband. What's going on in here? Finally, you're here, James. Now get me out of this place. Do you want to know why I locked you up here? It's because I want you to see how I'm going to take revenge on your brother's daughter, Pika. Did you just say Pika? Are you crazy? What did she ever do to you? She was the reason that our son is unalive. So that's why now I'm going to take revenge on her for that. Gosh. What is he gonna do to her? Meanwhile, tells them about what's going on and that they need their help to fix everything. Did you just say that he's going to unalive her mom? What does this man think he's going to do again? Brother Steve won't be reading a story to us before we sleep. We must do something to stop this evil man from what he's doing. Brother, are you going to read a story for us before we sleep or not? Children, this is not the time. <laughs> not now, Nico. I'm busy right now. You go to sleep without me this time, okay? It's really not fair. They should tell us what's going on too. I wish I could just use my powers to save you, mom. What's wrong, Pika? What's gotten into you? Well, it's just that I wish I could use my powers like y'all. Then I could save my mom easily. You're always like that, Pika. You care so much about helping other people than yourself. But don't worry. I'll do anything to help save your mom. After getting ready to save her mom. Oh my goodness. Why is her mom like chained up? That is so weird. Great. Now start the plan. Under your command, sir. They've arrived. Let's go and get my mum out of here now. It's locked. I'm trying to break down the door. Pika, wait. We shouldn't open that door. Because I feel like there's something, so we shouldn't try to open it. Yes, it might be booby-trapped. We must go a different way. See, he's clever. He knows that in all final levels, there's booby-traps. Oh my goodness, there's a countdown. Huh? Where am I? What is that over there? I must get out of here and fast. I know that door is booby-trapped, okay? What? Such idiots. Oh my gosh, 10 seconds? Listen, Pika, calm down and what? It exploded. Was she really too late to save her mom? Pika! Pika wasn't in there, but her mom was. Oh my gosh. But if she was in there, she could have died too. Pika, calm down a little, please. I don't know how she can calm down. She found out her mom was alive and now her mom has died. That heartless James. Come on, Pika, please stand up. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Look at him, he's so happy with himself. Oh, how sad. Now you don't have anyone you can count on. Pika. Do you love how it feels? First, you unalived my son in my own hands. And second, you made me lose my one and only wife because of you. Are you being for real right now? You're telling me that I'm the reason you unalived your son and lost your wife? You're really giving me a headache, Pika. So why don't I let you meet your parents again, huh? This guy's really crazy. Pika, watch out. What? Run away, you little idiots. Huh? Who is that? Oh my gosh, is that Max again? Oi, who are you? And what do you think you're doing, huh? That mysterious stranger just saved their lives. But who is it? What just happened right now? What the? Who was the guy that took Tyler away? Shut it, old man. Does it look like we know? Y'all are gonna pay for this. Especially you, Steve. Because you're the main reason I fought with my wife. I love how this guy is literally blaming everybody but himself when he is the problem. You, who are you? And where do you think you're taking us? Did you just take us to my house? I mean, how do you even know where I live? Oh my gosh. There's there's no way. No, there is a way, Pika. I'm still alive. Plot twist, he didn't actually die? Wait, what? You idiot. I thought you were really dead. Anyway, how come you're still alive? All right, let's just say that I was actually going to die at that time, but thank gosh I survived. So now you don't need to worry. 
you said that you actually survived at that time, then how come the news of your death spread so fast? Well, about that. Okay, so here he is in the hospital. Pika! And he's flatline. Oh no, he's dying. Someone help! He's... Come back to life though. Where am I? And that's what happened. And how did you run away from the hospital? I mean, how come your dead body was there? Oh, about that? It was actually a copy of my body, but I've got rid of it now. It's giving stranger things. But well, you think one of the characters has died and there's an actual body, but it turns out he's alive. You're really out of your mind, you know. But compared to you, I'm too smart. You little. He's not just smart. He's also kind and strong. Huh? Who's this now? You can come out now. It's my uncle's wife. Could it be? It's her mom. So I'm guessing he saved her mom before the explosion went off. And that's why he pretended to be dead, so he could go undercover and save everybody. Mom, is that really you? Yes, honey, it's me. I'm still alive, thanks to Liam. He's the one who saved me. Did I say something wrong? Not at all, Mom. It's just, thank you for helping her, Liam. And thank you for staying alive for me. It's nothing, Pika. I promised you that I'd always stay by your side with everything. A few hours later. You can go to your room now, Pika. I'll be okay. Good night then, Mum. Dang it, this guy's really clingy. He never leaves Pika alone. Great, now I'm alone with this dumb guy again. Why can't they just be friends? Tyler was actually really upset when Liam died, but I don't think he'd like to admit that. Sorry I'm late, guys. I just had to make sure that my mum is sleeping well. No, you're not late at all, Pika. No need to worry. Anyways, now, if you're both ready, then I'm gonna tell you the plan to unalive James Almani. I'm ready, even though he is my dad. I won't have any mercy on him, just like how he did to me and any other creature. Liam, you're really loyal to me and to everybody else. The next day. Dang it. Why do I always feel so tired when I wake up in the morning? Why is that literally me? I could sleep for 24 hours and still wake up tired. Okay, I must quit talking to myself or everybody else will think I'm crazy. Today is going to be my revenge day. I'll make you meet your parents again, little girl. My mind just keeps thinking of him. I want to take revenge on him so bad. Come on, Tyler, just share it with him already. No way, this guy's a monster when it comes to food. Oh really? Say someone who's literally holding it to eat all by himself. I love how they're fighting over a pie. Pies that big are definitely meant to be shared. What's going on in here? Oh, thank gosh you woke up, Pika. Come and stop these two. They're literally going to give me a headache from their fighting. Is that true, guys? Well, he's the one who started it. He literally wants to eat the pie so fast. Stop lying. I wasn't going to eat it that fast. Oh, both eat it to yourselves. I'm not hungry at all. Are you sure, Pika? Yeah, I mean, look at it. It could feed us all together. Yeah, exactly why you should share the pie. It's huge. Just eat it, both of you, and follow me to school. Later. Pika, are you going to school dressed like that? Huh? What do you mean? Um, what he means is that you're really going to school without hiding your bunny ears and your tail? Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Are you out of your mind, Pika? What if some other wolves see you and kidnap you again? Don't worry, Liam. That's not going to happen. Because I have a plan that will make us stronger than we are right now. Really? <laughs> What is it then? I'll tell you both about it later. So, for now, follow me to school. I don't have a good feeling about this. Great, now all I need to do is to show the world that it's normal for bunnies or any other creature to live here. Oh dear, everybody's gonna know that she's a bunny. That's the whole point but this is dangerous. Hey, look behind you. There's a bunny in our world. Isn't it normal for bunnies to live here after what the wolves did to their world? What are you talking about, little girl? As I guessed, nobody knows the truth about our world. Please excuse me. I have more important things that I need to take care of. Pika literally does not care. She's out of here. Weird, who even was that girl? I don't know, but is she aware that there's loads of wolves out there that can hunt her? She's aware, but she doesn't care because she's too strong for them to defeat her. Wait a second, are those real fangs in your mouth? Are you a vampire? Yes, and I would suck anybody's blood right now because I'm really thirsty. Oh my gosh, they ran away, they were so scared. Now, time to start my plan. Pika, is that you? Yes, Andy, it's me, your best friend. So, she's really a bunny as they said. What's wrong? Are you going to stop hanging out with me just because I'm a bunny, Andy? If so, then I guess it was nice meeting you, bestie. Oh no, she likes her even if she's a bunny. That's actually so sweet. Stop talking nonsense, you dummy. I will always be your best friend, no matter what you are. Thank you for your loyalty, Andy. You truly are a great friend. What the? Does Andy really still support Pika even though she's a bunny? I mean, what's wrong with her being a bunny? What do you mean, what's wrong? 
Do you not see what's wrong with bunnies, Amber? Not at all, Sarah. And if you ask why, then I'ma tell you. It's because I'm not a wolf like you all. Oh my gosh, the tea is being spilt today at the school. Not a wolf like us? What do you mean by that, Amber? Oh my gosh, what is she? I'm a dragon, Sarah. And if you don't accept me, then that's totally fine. So I wonder how many of the students are actually different creatures. Why do I feel like I'm losing my one and only friend if I don't say anything about this to her? I mean, why? Why would I care about what others think and lose my one and only best friend? Wait, so Amber was a dragon all of this time and she didn't tell us about it? It's not the right time to talk to me, Max. I'll talk to you later. So much drama. First, Pika being a bunny. Second, Tyler being a vampire. And now it's turned out that our friend Amber is a dragon and not a wolf? I mean, what's next? I don't mind having different creatures in our school. Look, I might have lied to you before that I was hiding my wolf form, but I'm not. I'm actually a vampire and I want your guys' help with something. Um, we actually knew that before, but we never knew that you'd admit it. But don't worry, we're always here for you, boss. Great then, here's the plan, guys. Of course we're here for this, boss. Who wouldn't want to take revenge on their enemy? Mission success. Amber, is that really you? Yes, Pika. I'm also not a wolf. I'm actually a dragon. What's wrong? Why are you looking at me as if you're the only one who's different here? Um, me? Not really. It's just that I'm really surprised how many people are hiding their real form. I know we shouldn't be hiding our real forms, but you know that there are a lot of dangerous wolves out there who want to hunt people like us. Well, not anymore, Amber. What do you mean, not anymore? Do you have a plan on your mind? Exactly. I know you guys might be surprised at how I am. You're still alive? Yes, he is. This man has nine lives. Nine lives? Man, are you a cat? No. Anyways, Liam said that he'll be helping us with our plan. So, what do you all think? I mean, a person with nine lives can be helpful to us, right, Mateo? You know what? I'm gonna leave because I think I'm wasting my time with you all. You little idiots. You know we could have used him to help us with a few important things. After all of that, everyone accepted to work with Pika to take revenge from James Almani. Some hours later, did you find out where my aunt is, Max? Yes, Pika. She's with James Almani. I knew it. So now he's going to threaten me with her to stop me from unaliving him. But if he only knows that I've set everything up ready this time. What should I do now, Miss Pika? You go there before anything bad happens to her. But there's loads of guards there. Do you think it's safe for me to go alone? I know there's loads of guards there, and it might be a little dangerous to go now. But since I have a plan in my mind, you should worry about nothing at all. Whatever you say then, I'm gonna take my leave now. Finally, I'm almost there. Oh no, he's being followed by the one and only James Almani. Oh, there she is. She looks like she's cried a lot during these past few days. Her husband is really evil, leaving his own wife all alone here for a few days without even checking on her. Anyway, let me get her out of here before anybody comes. Oh, I have a really bad feeling about this. Excuse me, who are you? Don't worry, ma'am. I'm here to save you. Oh, look who came back. You not only ran away, but you're working against me and taking my wife from me, huh? You really thought I wouldn't find you and end you, Max? Pika, where are you? Come on, Pika, it's our time. Okay, then. Let's go now. Oh my goodness, it's time. It's happening. It's happening. You're not a wolf? Yeah, so what, huh? Do you have a problem with that? You little. You will die here. No, James. Please don't do that to him. Sir James, please come outside and see what's happening. What's wrong? And why are you so in a rush? It's Pika, sir. She's on the rooftop and she said that she's gonna push your son off of it. I bet he's so confused because he thinks Liam is dead. Pika, you little. You better leave my son alone right away or I'll send my guards against you. I won't leave your son until you leave Max alone. You little. Fine. I'll set him free, but you have to get down and give me my son first. Sir, are you really sure about that? We have to do what they say. Accepted. Your son is fully free right now. Come down, my son. The plan is going so well. Dad, I can't believe you're alive, son. Now, you just come and stand next to me so nothing happens to you. What an idiot you are, Pika. Did you really think I would leave your stupid friend, Max? What's wrong, Dad? Are you talking to me? Because I'm your son, Liam, not Pika. Wait, what? Is she like swapped dis- disguises with him or something? Wait a second, did you both just switch? Yes. And it looks like Pika finally got revenge on James Almani. Everybody was so proud and happy for Pika. And guys, that is where this story has ended. It's been an emotional roller coaster, but I'm really glad that Pika got revenge in the end. If you enjoyed that story and you want to see another video from me, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.